Hey, Phoebe, tell me a little bit about what you have to wear when you're sleeping on these porter ledges. So sort of my pyjamas, if you yes, will, is, yeah. my, is my full harness, so, which I have come to love over these last few days, whether I want to or not. Um, so I will put it on for you okay. at first and hopefully, obviously I would never go climbing in these sandals, of course. Of course. Um, I would put my proper shoes on and try not to fall over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so as you can see, this harness also goes this way. So it's pretty big. Wow. Is it heavy? Yes. It's not, I mean, it's not ridiculously heavy, but it's more than you'd normally where to go to bed yeah <laughs> that's for sure um so you have to obviously i'd also wear a helmet so don't try this without a helmet no. <laughs> uh, do you have to sleep in the helmet no you don't have to sleep. once you're in nothing can fall out and look i've already made a, a mistake by putting this through my leg there's all oh, so many ropes and things so many things you have to think about there's so many things you have to think about that is the key yeah there's too much to think about but, um, but the wonderful thing is when you're doing it, that's what you're thinking about. Um, right so then. I shall, now I, now I look more the part, I shall tell you what, what's um, going on here. Okay. So this one is called a crawl and this basically attaches, a rope goes up through here so that when you're climbing up a rope, yeah. every time you move up, this will only go up. It won't let you go down. Okay. So that kind of holds you. So once you've pulled yourself, yeah, you're you gonna stay, stay where you are. So that's the that's the crawl, and obviously this will be nice and tight. Otherwise, I'll get he who taught me saying I don't look very very right here. Um, over here we have something which um, is so they call these things these bits of rope. These are called cow tails, which I learnt, which I quite like. Okay. <laughs> um, and this they call a duck as well, so it's all, so, all very animal farm. Are there sound effects then you have to do as you're putting the kit no, together? No, that's an idea. I don't think they'd appreciate it. Um, <laughs> it's all very new to me. So the duck, basically, that goes on your safety rope. So you have a you have the rope that you're climbing on, and then you have a safety rope. Okay. Uh, and that clips on there, and basically how that works is you have to pull it down with you when you're descending and you have to keep pushing it up the rope when you're ascending and it's basically so that if you were to fall you you would it would hold you that would be so if okay. everything else went wrong yeah yeah you've um, got the extra you've safety got, you've got the extra safety there so that's what the duck does then you have various spare carabiners for clipping stuff um, and then over here you well actually i don't even have my ascender on i'll show you that in a minute uh, this is called an id and this is what you use to descend or abseil down and you basically unclip it and the, this is the first thing that you learn when you get off your before you get off this rope yeah. that your crawl's attached to you put the rope into this so the rope as it heads you hold it like this mm -hmm. and as the rope heads down it goes in that way okay and then you once the rope's inside it you close it and you uh, lock it off um, and then that's your ID ready. And then you can sit in that and to abseil, basically the rope's coming out here. It's very difficult to show that rope in it. Yes. And you, you basically loosen it and you let yourself okay. um, out of that. And that sort of grabs the rope. And that's what, that what is what has to be attached to the rope to sleep. Right. So that's in. Yeah. And then your duck's in okay. to sleep. So everything else you can strip off right. to go to sleep. Yeah. Um, and then you'll see this, uh, this fancy foot loop, what I call my fruit loop. Um, and this basically attaches to, I can't, I, oh I can show you with, um, I think this is probably that one. So this is an ascender. Okay. So basically what happens is the, uh, the Fruit Loop, as I like, to, I like to call it, goes onto the ascender. And this is what essentially you use to climb up the rope. So I don't know whether I'd use this actual carabiner, but so this goes on here. And similar to the crawl, this sort of opens up, attaches on the rope, and you push, if you imagine your foot in one of these loops. Okay, oh I see, I see. So you push this up, Yeah. so you're sat in your harness, and then you heave your body up, Okay. and then that locks in and, and keeps you where you hold yourself up to. Sit back in your harness, Yeah. push it up, and ah. do the same again. So and it is a, quite a lot of leg work. Yeah, leg and, and also to... leg and arm coordination that doesn't come natural at first okay. <laughs> um, so yeah it's basically about going up and then going back down again yeah. but this is yeah this is essentially what this you're is, sleeping wow so it's certainly not lightweight lightweight pajamas no not at all <laughs> and tonight you you'll be going over won't you rather than up so yeah, you'll so be using we'll, those yeah so abseil down yeah so that will be on this on the id right so abseil down 
Um, and then in the morning, yeah, it'll be it'll be that. ascending up or dumaring, as they call it. Oh, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, I haven't really got the right technological technical terms. Like that. All it takes <laughs> is an intensive seven nights of sleep in strange places, and you too can sound like you sort of know what's going on. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> No sleep, seven days of hard work. But what, you're doing it though for centre point, aren't you? It's I'm weird. doing it for centre point. So, um, so yeah. So for me and the other two guys are really. This is that happy in this. You can see when they put it on, they know what they're doing. For me, it's still very new and very much like. Can someone just tell me I've done this okay? Um, but that's why to me this is a challenge. Yeah. So, um, you know, this is for centre point, which is the young people's homeless charity, um, and they. Basically, I always like to sleep in strange places, but this is for me taking it to that next level and taking it to the really extreme places and really pushing myself and challenging myself. I mean, this one's a bit scary, you know, it's, it's going off a gorge and you, you know, I've seen Clifton Suspension Bridge a few times and it's, it's pretty bloody high. Yeah, it's so, pretty high. Um, yeah, it's pretty high. And then the next two sleeps after this are both, this is the last kind of natural one. The other two are both man-made and these are, these are, structures that we're sleeping off and one of them is particularly high mm. and the other one is particularly exposed and that's even harder because suddenly you have other things to worry about like the building you have glass to worry about breaking especially when you're cutting around a fair bit of metal work um, and the other one it's it's just pure exposure so yeah it's gonna these final three yeah are pretty scary especially for me but even even talking to the guys they're even saying yeah that you should be scared they are scary ones so yeah. um, and we'll have to find out tomorrow won't we where we where you're gonna be where next. gonna go next oh we, we said we may even reveal it tonight okay we may reveal it tonight we're feeling a bit cheeky oh. so we, <laughs> we might do that but um but yeah it's um it's all for such an amazing cause because you know the whole point is to push our comfort zone because if if, if me doing this and you know I've t you know 10 days of my time 10 days of John who's a doctor of Ollie who's a rigger they're giving up all the time to do this and and if that just means one less homeless person is on the streets and their their life is turned around then it's totally worth sleeping in a harness and yeah. uncomfortable I, sh I don't know how I'll sleep without one to be honest I'm gonna <laughs> sneak it strange. home yeah <laughs> cool thanks Phoebe thanks